Hello friends, this video on Amines part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's learn some methods to prepare amines. We'll understand how to prepare amines by reduction of nitro compounds. We'll understand the preparation of amine by ammonolysis of alkyl halides. Also, we'll prepare amine by reduction of nitriles. By reduction of amides, please note amines and amides are different. We'll talk about that. We'll also understand how to prepare amines using Grignard reagent and from Gabriel thalamide synthesis. We'll understand these methods to prepare amine. Let's start and also from the Hoffman bromide degradation reaction. We'll see that when CO2 uh, CO is removed, we'll, we'll talk about these. So we'll talk about these methods to prepare amines. Let's start. With the first method that is reduction of nitro compound so you see the way it works is so i have a nitro compound right and if i do a reduction it gives me primary amine one degree amine it always give me primary amine let me show you And there are two types of reduction actually. One is the chemical reduction. So reductions of two types. One is the chemical reduction. You'll see these things. And the other is catalytic reduction. So when you talk about chemical reduction, we generally use 10 iron and HCl, this kind of things we use. If you want catalytic reduction, we use hydrogen and we pass it over a nickel catalyst or PD catalyst. So we use catalyst here, this is my catalyst, correct? And these are my actual reaction that happens, correct? So we have two different kinds of reduction. One is a chemical reduction, other is a catalytic reduction. So in chemical reduction, we generally use metal, so if you see this metal and some acid, correct? So if you see the chemi the reaction for the chemical rea reduction, CR is chemical reduction. You have some RNO2, that is my nitro compound. And then I'm doing a reduction by adding some hydrogen and that hydrogen I'm getting by having this metal and this H plus, this gives me this hydrogen and I get RNH2. Example, if you want, I have C2H5, NO2. So in this, I have this metal, for example, let me take iron and HCl. This will give you CTH5, NH2 and water molecule. If you want for a aryl, I can have an equation for aryl also. I have this benzene, nitrobenzene. And in this, let's suppose I have SN and HCl or Fe and HCl. You can use any of these, it will give you NH2, correct? Now let's learn the other one that is catalytic reduction. This was my chemical reduction. This is my chemical one. So now let's understand catalytic reduction. Here also the reaction will be same only the uh, the reagent used will be different. For example, here I'll use H2 and PT. It's PT or nickel. I use get R and H2. Similar kind of reaction we have. For example, I have nitrobenzene. I use hydrogen in case of PT catalyst. I get NAV. This method is not good the second method is not good for hydrocarbon with double bond why because it will actually uh, make double bond single bond this is not good for double bond hydrocarbon why because for example i have let's put this compound correct so if i do a uh, 
catalytic one, what will happen is I'll get something like this. So this double bond will go off. Correct. So this method is not good for double bond. So in that case, my this method is prepared where I have a metal and an acid. And this is, this is always, but this method is prepared for uh, preferred for aromatic. For aromatic. And this is for aliphatic. Because in this case, see, we use, for example, Fe and HCl combination. Correct. So in this case, FeCl2 gets hydrolyzed back to get HCl. And only a small amount of HCl is required to start the reaction. Right? This H plus is very small amount of is required to start the reaction. And this metal, you get back. So you get back, you don't lose anything. So you can easily get back the metal. So this method is prepared for aliphatic, but if you have, and uh, this, but this is for aromatic. And also if you have double bond, this catalytic method has issues. So in that case, chemical method is better. There are two kinds of reduction. You can either reduce using chemical ways, that is you have metal and acid, or you can use a catalytic way where you have a hydrogen gas and some metal surface. We have seen this kind of reaction where we have a metal surface, right? And you have hydrogen gas. So hydrogen gone, gas breaks into H plus and H minus, and then uh, it attacks this hydrocarbon. So we have seen this kind of uh, reduction. So if you have doubts, you can watch my previous videos where we, we explain uh, with, uh, with pictures how this uh, metal reduction takes place. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.